Vineyard Wind Offshore Wind Project has received the green light to move forward. The proposed 84 turbine offshore wind farm would generate 800 megawatts of clean energy and power 400,000 homes. Mayor John Mitchell says there's a few more steps they need to take place, but he is optimistic the project will sail through up those. Now, the Port of New Bedford has been tapped as the site to host the construction equipment, and that's where we find 12 News reporter Sheena Lashuto with more. Sheena? Well, the wind farm is supposed to be up and running sometime in 2023, and that means sometime in 2022, things will kick off here in New Bedford. And when that day comes, things will look a lot busier over here. Clean energy is on the horizon. The years in the making plan to develop an offshore wind farm cleared another hurdle. The Bureau of Ocean Energy Management completed its environmental review. Uh, a project the size of Vineyard Winds Project, which is a $3 billion project, the first industrial scale offshore wind farm in the United States, takes a lot of permitting. There are lots of hoops to jump through. And what happened at a federal level means here at home, the whaling city has reason to celebrate. While the actual wind farm will be about 15 miles off the coast of Martha's Vineyard, New Bedford will host the construction equipment for it. The schedule right now for them is to start staging their project out of uh, the Port of New Bedford in early 2023, uh, which means that there'll be an awful lot of activity in 2022. Which means jobs and lots of them. Mayor John Mitchell says when you look at the big picture, economically, it's all good news. So we here in New Bedford see this as a real great opportunity to create jobs for folks, to attract investment, to uh, expand our tax base and do a lot of other good stuff. However, over the years, 12 News has heard concerns from people who fear the project could hurt the fishing industry. On its website, Vineyard Wind is calling on fishermen to contact them so they can work together. I've uh, been convinced that offshore wind and commercial fishing can successfully coexist. New Bedford's the biggest commercial fishing port in America. One of the advantages of having uh, offshore wind here is that uh, it'll create opportunities for the fishing industry. But we have to be really careful about where uh, wind farms are sited in the years ahead. Now, we've really been covering this story every step of the way. So I asked the mayor, why should the average person here in New Bedford care about this? Why should they pay attention? And Mayor Mitchell says it's really going to create a lot of opportunities. Plus, they're using resources that are already here. Reporting live in New Bedford tonight, I'm Sheena Lushido, 12 News.